is Derek and Blake from the DB Garage, and today we're going to build some retrofit headlights for a 2006 to 2013 Impala. We bought our uh, Mini H1 7.0 by Xenon projectors. We have the original Mini Gatling gun shrouds, not the 2.0s. We have the 45 watt Hilux uh, ballast. We have some black, ultra black uh, Permatex adhesive for when we reseal it. We've got our pigtails for some of the adaptive stuff. I'll show you that later. Then we have the HD relay, and then we have 4,500K bulbs, Morimoto's, and we have 5,500K Morimoto uh, HID bulbs. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of break it down for you guys and show you how, it, how it's done. All right, so we went ahead and undid, we re undid all the plugs, took all the bulbs out, and now we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven for I believe we're gonna do 240 degrees for about 20 minutes. A few minutes later. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull them out of the oven. Make sure you have some gloves on, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and try and pry them apart. So we got the lens off over here. We're gonna scrape off as much of the extra residue as we can. We're gonna go ahead and take the residue that's left in here, and we're gonna mash it down in there to get it nice and even, and then we'll get on to the next step. All right, so if you wanna come in here, we took, there's this little piece here. It's, all, it's just there, for, it's a shield for the, for the low beam bulb. We just took it, went ahead, and we just cut it off right there. Get that out of the way. So now we're gonna go ahead. We the wiring that they have on these aftermarket headlights are a little ran a little differently, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drill out this little hole area so that we can start fitting the projector in there. All right. So you have to on these tabs right in there. The H1 is barely a little bit bigger than those tabs. So Blake's taking a file. <laughs> and just grinding them down some just till we get enough to be a snug fit. Since we decided to go ahead and take the shrouds out um, earlier, I filed from the front, which I think honestly it's a lot safer if we go ahead and sand the inside of the stock shroud to fit the projector. I think that'll be a lot easier. Yeah, if you put and the safer. shroud, if you put the shroud face down, then you don't. That way, the shavings just yeah. fall straight down. Right. Now that we've got the projector to fit, we need to drill a hole big enough uh, through the stock lens so that we can feed the high beam uh, harness through the lens. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And just pay attention to the orientation of the uh, projector. So like so, we're gonna want just roughly in that bottom left corner of the low beam Maybe just do a little test fit. All right, we'll just go to the next size. No big deal. Gonna 
another drill bit. <laughs> All right, we had to drill a hole to fit our high beam connector that plugs into the back of the projector. You just wanna make sure that the hole on the projector itself is in orientation with the low beam when it's mounted. So for instance, we'll just feed it through. You wanna make sure you have clearance for both ends, plug and the pigtail pieces. So that way, if you wanna take it apart, since we're gonna to have to put the connector on the, the actual plug on the other end, the only way you'll be able to get it through is the actual plug itself that plugs in the back of the projector. And just get that mounted. Got it started. We ended up taking out the stock lens. Um, finding our issue here, uh, we can't get a wrench on here to properly tighten the projector. So we're just not satisfied how it's seating. So we're going to actually take the projector off again and sand this here flush with the nut so that we can get a socket on here and really tighten it to how we want it. So all we're gonna be doing is sanding this lip flush or near flush with where the stock bulb would rest with our belt sander. Pretty quick work when you have the right tools. All right, now that we've got everything mocked up on the passenger side, this is just a, an alignment check. It looks phenomenal. We open the gate outside and the, the light just carries on for a long distance. So we're really happy with how things are going for the most part. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the lens and stuff back on and actually get it on the car. We've got both the projectors mounted and we've removed uh, most of the sealant that came with these lights. So we went ahead and just ran some gasket maker. We're gonna go ahead and button this headlight up and see how it goes and just put in the oven at a fairly low temperature for five, 10 minutes. Go up and glob it up <laughs> if you want to seal it better. Go! Lucy, Shorty, Shorty got, got gas! Yeah. Shorty got hips! Oh, Shorty got the gas! It looks like ass! <laughs> Body like a silicone makes me want to seal it all night long. Alright, guys, we got a finished product for you here. It's our first retrofit, so don't judge us too badly. We, this is just kind of a practice that we want to do for the car. But uh, here they are. Passenger side, driver side. Came out pretty good. We still gotta put the bulbs back in, but these are just pretty much them being done now. That's it, now we're gonna show you what they look like on the car and That'll be it. All right guys, so we got the headlights done. We're gonna show you what they look like on the car in the daylight and then we're gonna, we've back, we've probably got about, I don't know, 10, 15 feet away from the wall. We're gonna show you kind of how the lines look. They're not perfectly straight, but they're close enough. So, but here's, uh, here's what they look like. Here's what they look like on the car.
came out really good. They line up pretty well. No real. For aftermarket $80 headlights, they lined up pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and show you what they look like now on the wall. All right, here's what they look like on the wall. This is straight from the car perspective. Okay, really good. Like I said, the lines aren't perfect. But I'm very happy with them. I'm very pleased. Not bad for the first retrofit. So we'll make sure we do, you know, we have, this is our practice round. So make sure that's done. But uh, this is Derek and Blake from the DB Garage, guys. Peace.